Hello guys, my name is Harry and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to create in the container and maybe get onto the GUI depending on how long this takes. So let's get started. Firstly, create the container class called Container Sintering Furnace. It's going to extend container. Control Shift O, you want net.minecraft.inventory.container. There's going to be a few variables, private final tile entity sintering furnace, tile entity, and also private in cook time, total cook time, burn time, and current burn time. These can all be done with commas. You can only have to write private in once. You can then open the constructor. We want inventory player, player, and tile entity, tile entity. You want your tile entity sintering furnace here as your tile entity. Set this to tile entity equal to tile entity. And then we're going to add some slots. So this dot add slot to container, a new slot is going to be control shift to import net dot minecraft inventory dot slot and click add arguments. It wants our inventory, which is our tile entity. It wants the index. This one is going to be zero. If we hover over, it wants the X position and the Z, the Y position, sorry. So I'm going to open up my paint.net. And here is my sintering furnace GUI. We have two input slots, our um, fuel slot with a fire animation here, the arrow animation, and then the output slot. Currently we are doing slot zero. So you want to get the select tool, the rectangle select, and go to the most inwards point of the gray bit. You can obviously create your GUIs just by opening up the normal Minecraft furnace and copying their squares and moving them around, things like that. That's all I did. Or you can obviously use mine if you want. I'm going to use, say this now, I do highly recommend not completely copying me. Or at least for your custom mods. You want these tutorials you want to learn from. You want to be able to understand what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and then use that knowledge to build your own things. So feel free to completely copy me during the, um, during all these normal tutorials, but try and read my code, try and understand what I'm saying, and then try and make something new, completely different by yourself using the knowledge you've learned. So I, this is 27 pixels in. So it's going to be X 27 and Y, it is 12 pixels down. You can see that down here at the bottom. For X 12, you want this Y thing here and the X here. So that is that sort done. However, sometimes you may find that these um, numbers are slightly off. So when you go into the game, you may find that this is slightly off. I found that 26 and 11 was a bit better. I'm gonna add another slot. This dot add slot con to container. A new slot with tile entity in here. Index of one. Um, and I found my numbers were 26 and 59. But obviously yours GI might be different. We are now going to need to create some custom slots for our fuel and output. So we're going to create a new class inside of this slots package just created called slot sintering furnace fuel. It's going to extend slot. And the only thing that's different about it, firstly, we're going to create the constructor, I inventory, inventory, int index, int x, and int y. This is all it's going to do is super inventory index x y control shift over to import our inventory and the only thing that's different to a normal slot in the is item valid we return tile entity sintering furnace dot is item fuel the stack so we're getting our own is item fuel which means we can modify um the fuels ourselves obviously i didn't but you can create custom fuels this is why we need this class and also get item stat limit we need to have that on there just return the super so now this as slot to container a new slot control space slot sintering furnace fuel we want our tile entity index of two and then my x coordinates and y coordinates were seven in and 35 down then the final one this dot as slot to container a new slot Sintering furnace output, which we're going to create again and put it in our dot slots package for our 
um, constructor here, entity player, player, and then all of the same. We are then going to super off of the inventory, the index, the X and the Y. We are going to create a variable up here called private final entity player player and also a private int remove count this dot player equals player we get is item valid return false as we can't put anything inside of the output slot we want the on take function where we put this dot on crafting stack super dot on take the player stack return stack and final one is decrease stack size if this dot get has stack this dot remove count plus equals math dot min amount this dot get stack dot get count return super dot decrease stack size amount and that's the output slot done hover over and add argument input player dot player because this is an inventory player, I want the player that's owning this inventory. The tile entity, the index is going to be three. My numbers for my output slot are 81 and 36. But obviously yours may vary. We then need to um, input all the slots for the player inventory. Four int y equals zero. Y is less than three, y plus plus. Four int x equals zero, x is less than three, x plus plus. You may be wondering why I put y then x. Y is um, how far down it goes. So it's three columns, the 27 inventory um, slots that you can't see. And then it's, um, sorry, this is meant to be nine. X is greater than nine, so x is less than nine. As it's nine, ro um, nine columns across, and three rows down. Then we this dot add slot to container new slot. This is goes inside of the inventory player as it's the player's inventory. The index is x plus y times nine plus nine. This is because if you understand something called Bob maths in maths, you um, this is actually y plus nine in brackets there. Um, but we don't see that and this the first nine here when we add nine is the hot bar we then add x to the y times nine and we get the index between 10 and 36 the x position is 8 plus x times 18 so this um accounts for the gaps in between each slot that isn't where the actual container is. And then the y is 84 down plus y times 18. To make this a bit clearer, I'm going to remove the spaces between the, the multiplies so you can see that these are together and then this added on later. These are just the calculations to um, calculate where the inventory slots are. This will not change based on the change you, you make on the GUI. This will always be the same on all GUIs that have the inventory showing. Then here again, 4 int x is 0, x is less than 9, x plus plus. This dot add slot to container, new slot player. The um, actual slot number is just going to be x as it'll go across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The um, location is 8 plus x times 18 on the x axis and 142 down on the y axis has all the hot bars in the same place. And they are all your slots empty container. So these four values here can be modified to be different locations. You can also have more inputs if you want, but you would have to modify a few things. And now I'm going to copy in everything else from the container class and I'll go through and explain it to you. Most of it's copied from the default Minecraft class. So here we have a listener. A listener is looking for changes. So we add the listener and we send all properties to the tile entity. Here, this function is looking for changes. We have our listener for each different property, and we keep setting the cook time um, to be equal to the field. So we're updating between the client and the server um, variables to make sure they never get out of sync. And we're also setting them to each other. Update progress bar, constantly sending data. 
on the client side only can interact with. Um, this is just checking the tile entity is used by, by player function, but we need one for the container as well. And finally, transfer stack and slot. Basically does a lot of empty checks um, to make sure um, when, when it can actually transfer stacks into the other slots. And that's the container completed. In the next episode, we'll go on to GUIs. So if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe to see the next parts or for any other tutorials. Thanks for watching. My name's been Harry and goodbye.